Um, my name is Jürgen Wender. I, I'm working for Kronos in Leverkusen. It's a titanium dioxide producer, one of the biggest in the world. And this presentation is dealing about a, a brand new product, Kronos 9900 Digital White. It's a water-based pigment concentrate for digital printing inks. This is a presentation together with my colleague from technical service. I'm in global marketing. Uh, some words about Kronos. Kronos is one of the leading companies of our titanium dioxide. And um, yeah, we um, cover all, uh, all applications where titanium dioxide is used. It's a company um, uh, the, um, working worldwide and uh, uh, it was founded in 1916. We are the inventor of a derutal process of titanium dioxide more than uh, 100 years old. What is also important, especially for printing inks, um, so we have anotase and rutile and also both processes sulfate and chloride um, in our company. And we are also making pigment dis dispersions and we have a strong uh, trademark. Just a few words where we located. Um, uh, I like the slides uh, below, it's from 1916. These are pictures from our first production plants on the left side in, Nor in Norway with the wooden houses at this time by the sulfate process. Yeah, the picture then is from uh, Leverkusen, 1927. It, uh, this time corners belong to IG Farben. Um, and the picture below is a picture of last year from the chloride process. You can also see the River Rhine here. Um, and you see um, the chemical park here in the Leverkusen. In total, we make 575,000 tons titanium dioxide. Headquarter is in Dallas, we have an American company. And um, we have our own mine in Norway, also for the sulfate process and various production plants all over the world. Uh, Leverkusen is the biggest here, um, where we have the chloride process. And here we make also the, the new grade for digital ink, uh, Kronos 9900. Um, some words about um, the design of a titanium dioxide particle and why is it so important and, and what are the key features here. So uh, we have in the middle the base material which is produced either by the sulfate or chloride process. Then we have an inorganic surface treatment which can be for example alumina, silica or zirconium dioxide components. And then also um, we have an organic surface treatment, which is, which is hydrophilic or hydrophobic. Also we have great without organic post treatment, but important for, especially for digital inks and also other inks, up, inks applications are the particle size and the particle size distribution. Here we are talking about preliminary particles of 0.3 micrometer, sometimes also a bit lower. So this is the, let me say the playground, um, how we make titanium dioxide and what are the important features. And again, at the titanium dioxide is important to get opacity, a high tinting strength, high gloss, and especially um, for, for, for inks also a very high whiteness. Uh, a brochure is available for of all the grades which we have in our portfolio. And uh, now I want to focus about the product portfolio for printing inks. Uh, titanium dioxide is used today, um, especially in, in gravure inks. Um, these are mainly solvent bond types, flexographic water-based and solvent bond. Here we have different dry products available, um, highly post-treated grades or glossy grades like the 64 and the 66. And um, focusing on the, on the titanium dioxide for, for, for inkjet, we divided it into three different parts. Um, I saw the presentation before. So for UV inks, for example, here we um, have specially tuned and optimized titanium dioxide regarding particle size and particle size distribution, 64, 66, and 23, 10 are the grades. The same grades can be also used um, for, for solvent bond inks. The 2310 is for outdoor use and the, due to the higher weather resistance and 64 and 66, uh, the sulfate grade with a narrow particle size for indoor use. 
In addition then, um, what I want to talk now is uh, we develop a brand new product. Uh, we make it here in Leverkusen for water-based digital inks called Connors 9900 digital white it's a water-based uh, concentrate a white concentrate and um, here um, now i want to say something about how we developed this grade in the beginning of this um, this um, development we uh, had a we did a customer needs analysis we did, we discussed a lot of with a lot of customers about their requirements and their needs and um, it was interesting to hear that, um, let me say, the, um, the most important properties, especially for white, is uh, excellent storage stability and, and avoiding settlement of titanium dioxide, also in the ink and also in the product, uh, getting a highest opacity, which means also a very high whiteness and, um, and an excellent uh, shelf lifetime. So, and this combined with a low ink viscosity um, uh, would be the ideal world uh, for a white product. So um, we achieved that properties. We can say today it's an optimized product um, for white, for white water-based uh, inks. And um, there are also technical data sheets, flyers, and, 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 and more technical literatures available about this new brand product. Um, key features um, about this product, it's, we can say it's a tailor-made Aquarius pigment concentrate and specially designed for inkjet application. And um, yeah, um, and what we get is, um, we get uh, the best stability. Uh, normally titanium dioxide are very heavy and the, the storage stability is not so nice, but here we find a way to stabilize the pigment particles in our dispersion. Uh, the key features are um, excellent anti-sedimentation and storage stability, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, we can also say today short filtration times um, of inkjet inks and superior so the best whiteness and opacity in prints. Um, if we uh, if we focus a bit on the on the on the key attributes, in addition what I what I said before, um, why is the pigment so white? It's produced by the chloride process. That means we have a low amount of trace elements in the white pigment. That's the reason why you get a bluish tone and the high whiteness. It's dust free. It's ready to use pigment concentrates, which is also important. Um, it has a very good compatibility with various types of ink binders, for example, polyurethane, acrylic, and others, and for also with the additives. And it's also good, you can use it for indoor and outdoor inks, or for, for interior and exterior, because of the good weather resistance of this one. And it is compliant with Swiss audience and national guidance, which is um, um, important regulations for this, this, uh, this kind of, uh, of, of segment. Um, you can use it for all water-based, so it's water-based, not solvent-based, and you can use it also for hybrid, so sometimes combination of UV and uh, water-based. Um, any, any other applications needs to be tested, but due to the fine particle size, I think also um, everything which is linked to polar systems, this product can be used. It's available today. We have sample sizes in one liter uh, boxes. We have 15 liter drums. So on one pallet um, are nine drums. And here's a picture of that in the middle. And uh, most of our customers today, they buy it in 600 liter containers which we can ship over um, all over the world. Um, today, we have a lot of customers in Asia. They like the 600 liter containers. And last but not least, um, if you have any questions, here are uh, our contacts from my side, Jürgen Bender for marketing, and uh, from my colleague, Dirk, who is technical manager and technical service department. I put also a link here. So we have a website for that where you can see and uh, we provide every technical information about this brand new product. 
uh, for white digital inks um, uh, on the web page. This was a this was a brief overview about this new product, and now, um, if you have any questions, um, you you can ask. <laughs>